Alright, so you've probably heard the term Web3 thrown around by tech bros and crypto nerds, but what does it actually mean? Is it a new version of the internet, a get-rich-quick scheme, or just another buzzword people use to sound smart at parties? Well, buckle up, because we're about to break it down in simple terms. And, yes, you'll actually understand it by the end. Let's rewind for a second. First, there was Web 1.0 basically just a bunch of ugly websites with text, hyperlinks, and the occasional GIF. It was like reading a digital newspaper. Zero interaction. Then came Web 2.0, social media, YouTube, apps. We could now like, comment, and share. But there was one problem. Big tech, Facebook, Google, Twitter, they controlled everything. They collected your data, sold it to advertisers, and showed you creepy ads for the thing you swear you only mentioned out loud once. Enter Web 3. The Internet's glow-up moment. Web3 is all about decentralization instead of Facebook and Google controlling everything. Web3 runs on the blockchain, meaning the data isn't stored in one place but spread across a network of computers. No middlemen, no central authority, just peer-to-peer -peer goodness. You don't need to trust a company, you trust the code. Think of it like Airbnb, but without Airbnb, or Uber, but without Uber. Directly connecting buyers and sellers through smart contracts which are basically automated agreements that run themselves. So why should you care? Because you finally have control. In Web 2, you were the product. Your data was harvested and sold without you seeing a dime. In Web 3, you actually own your data and your content. Make a viral video. You get paid directly. Create an NFT. You own the rights and royalties. No shady algorithms, no corporate overlords, just you and the blockchain. Of course, Web3 isn't perfect, it's new, it's messy, and it's full of scams. Gas fees are ridiculous, and some NFT projects are more worthless than Blockbuster stock. But hey, early days of the internet were weird too. Remember dial-up? Exactly. Web3 is basically the internet growing up. It's decentralized, open, and gives the power back to the people. So, are we about to see a full-on Web3 takeover? Maybe, or maybe it'll crash and burn like MySpace. Either way, at least you'll sound cool when you explain it to your friends. Smash that like button, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you've minted an NFT or just lost money on one. No judgment here. See you in the next one.